Hello, a very warm welcome to you all as I share my Christmas message with you, December 2021. We've just about got to the end of a very busy term. It's been a lovely term with lots to celebrate. So going through some of the things that we have been able to achieve despite a few difficulties along the way with various um, illnesses, both amongst staff and amongst children. However, we have managed to do some really great activities. So the very first thing we did at the beginning of September was we were able to welcome you all back to come and share our sports day with us, which was really lovely being able to spend time with you and to have the school community back together. After sports day, we were able to have some coffee mornings with various parents from different year groups and to spend some time with you just having a chat. Unfortunately, we've had to stop those for now, but hopefully we will have them up and running again as soon as possible. We were able to take the children to the church to celebrate the Harvest Festival. Um, I always love Harvest songs that they sing at that time of year, always gets you in, in a really positive, happy mood. Uh, we were able to get together as a school community on the playground on the 11th of November at 11 o'clock and to um, share in the two minute silence with the rest of the country in, for, as part of Remembrance Day. The Year Fours went away to Burwell for a residential trip and were very, very well behaved and the teachers were very proud of them. A big thank you to the teachers that went and were able to support the children as they were away from home. Some of them, it was the first time they'd been away from home for a very, very long time. So they did re really well and if you're a Year Four parent, you should be very proud of them. We were able to relaunch our houses this term. Um, we now have four houses, Birch, Willow, Oak and Sycamore. We have an ongoing competition to see which house can get the most house points and then that house is rewarded with a party or something similar. So this term it was Birch House that got the most house points and they were able to celebrate yesterday out on the playground with Christmas music and Christmas snacks and just celebrate the fact that they had achieved the most house points. The slate is now wiped clean and next term it could be any of the other trees or, the, or even Birch House again. Let's wait and see. The staff have continued to work really, really hard. They have done um, an incredible job this term with the children. We've obviously assessed them to see where they were when they came in in September and we've done some ongoing assessments to see where they are now. The children continue to make good progress. The local authority have been coming in and have been checking to make sure that the school is moving in the direction it needs to be doing. And I'm happy to say that they are really, really pleased with us. One of the comments that they made that I'd like to share with you all is how inclusive we are, are as a school at Little Paxton. But they ha are very impressed with all the progress that the school is making. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to the governors who are part of that journey, who support the school. They come in, uh, we have monthly meetings and they are supportive of the school, but they also challenge us to make sure, again, that we are providing the best education that we can for your children. So a big thank you to the governors. They are volunteers. They do give up a lot of their time. Talking of volunteers, I'd also like to thank the LPSA because they, again, uh, they come in, they give of their time freely and uh, they raise funds for all kinds of fun activities for your children. You may have noticed that outside year one, there is now a, a covered area, an outdoor classroom space. Uh, that is a, as a result of the hard work of the LPSA. So we are truly grateful to them. So thank you to the LPSA, LPSA and to our governors as well. At the moment, January is obviously fairly uncertain as to what exactly will be happening. As soon as I know, I will be sharing with you as I have done in the past. I will be following the government guidance. Um, and hoping that we can continue as normal. But at this stage, who really knows what's going to be happening? But we will be ready. We've got plans in place for whatever January throws at us. Moving on to happier things, it has been my absolute pleasure the last couple of days to be able to go to various nativities and performances. Um, I am so, so sorry that we've been unable to invite parents in. I know some of you are very disappointed However, I would also like to say a huge thank you to you all, because although you've been disappointed, you have accepted the decisions and I haven't had to um, argue, not even argue with you, but I haven't had to say anything to you. And I have to say as a head teacher, 
with other heads as friends, many other schools struggle. Um, but I, I'm incredibly grateful to you all because you do accept it when I have to send out the news that the nativity will happen, but you can't come and see it. So I'm eternally grateful to you all for making my job a little bit easier as I have to make these really tough decisions at times. Um, so the early years link has come out to you all showing you the children doing a little Christmas concert. You can see there are some real stars in there. There are some people that are shining already. Uh, they did really, really well. It's their first Christmas in school. Some of them have only been in school, what, 14 weeks and they sat up on the stage and they sang beautifully and they looked really, really lovely. So I'm sure some of you are quite emotional watching that. The children's nativity for key stage one, so that is years one and two, that has gone really, really well. That has been recorded and you will be getting a copy of that before Christmas. Um, again, there's just so much I could say about it. The first time I saw it, I got quite emotional. I had the big smile on my face. I also welled up. I felt like I was going to cry at one point because to see those children performing, feeling at the same time really sad that the parents weren't able to be there watching them. They look amazing. They know their dances. Um, their singing is lovely. The narrator's voices is fa are fantastic. They did look lovely. So I hope that when you get the video that you really enjoy it. And let's hope that next year we can have parents in and Christmas can be a little bit more normal. Um, as I make this video, I'm looking forward to the Key Stage 2 carol service this afternoon or this evening. Um, that should be great fun. I've heard lots of the carols and lots of the songs. I know that the choir in particular have been working exceptionally hard because they've hopefully got their up and coming visit to the O2 in January. Uh, I'm sure this evening it's going to be very, very special. So let's look forward to that. Uh, and thank you to the people that have been working with the choir to make sure that they are going to sound amazing this evening. I would like to thank the staff for all their hard work because they really are a team that I am very, very proud of and that it is a real privilege to work with. They genuinely put your children at the heart of everything that they're doing. And um, they're here early, they leave late, they're always talking about the children, they're always being um, thinking of ways to help the children with their learning and they're making it fun and they are an incredibly talented group of, of teachers. So I would like to thank them and the LSAs that support them. When I talk about teachers, I often talk, mean the LSAs as well, all of the staff here, they work exceptionally hard and uh, they're part of the journey that the school is on and the LA, as I have referred to earlier, are very happy with the direction of the school. So thank you to all of the teaching staff, whether you're teachers or LSAs. Also, of course, thank you to any other members of staff. The, the ladies in the office are the real engine of the school, really. And uh, a, a very, very big thank you to them for everything that they've been doing, making sure that communications come out to you, being the first face as you come in, talking to you on the phone, dealing with all your queries. So a big thank you to the office team as well for all of their support. Um, I can't finish though without, of course, a very, very special thank you to the, to the children themselves. They have done you proud this term. Sometimes, uh, as everybody's job is, it can be quite challenging. All I have to do is to go out into the school, go out and spend some time with the children and I have a huge smile on my face. I remember why I'm doing this job. I remember what a privilege it is actually to be a head teacher of such an amazing school. So I really want to say and a massive, massive thank you to the children because they are all really lovely. They're all working really hard. They do their best. They are just a joy to be around. So thank you for sending your children to Little Paxton so that I have the pleasure of spending time with them. Um, lastly, it is just left for me to say on behalf of everybody here at Little Paxton, have a lovely, safe Christmas and a very happy new year. And we look forward to spending time with you in 2022. We look forward to hopefully the world being a little bit more normal. Um, but in the meantime, have a super, super holiday together. And we look forward to seeing you uh, back in January. Thank you very much.